So one change for the M350 RTK that I would actually consider uh, to be important is the use of the new RC Plus remote instead of the old uh, smart remote. Now, the RC Plus remote, as before, supports the use of a WB37. So functionally, it's very similar. But what is very important is if you were to do a terrain follow surveys on very large areas, you will find the extra processing power in this remote to be very handy. Also, it has better IP rating. Uh, of course, the larger screen is a big help, especially if you look into the screen a lot of times and you actually do a lot of settings on the screen. So this would actually help you a lot. In terms of weatherproofing, it's improved, uh, especially because of the caps. So these rubber pieces uh, tend to get lost very easily and it doesn't here. So it's a big solid tab. Also, if you are having missions where if you have the aircraft flown from inside a vehicle or from inside a cabin, you have the option of removing the antenna here and then connecting an external antenna. Uh, one of the areas of improvement of the new aircraft is actually in the battery. So this is the old TB60, right? And this is the new TB65 battery. Capacity is very similar. Uh, the new one is in fact just very slightly smaller than this one in terms of watt hours. It has the same voltage. Now you can see, first of all, there's the cooling fins here. And this is supposed to help with the cooling down the battery. So one of the older issues with the TB60 would be after a flight, it would take long time to cool the batteries down. Uh, with this, it's supposed to help speed that up so you can charge it faster, almost immediately after landing. So the battery indicator has been moved from the side to the back. So what this does is if you put it in the aircraft, you can immediately see the battery level from the back as well as when you put it in the charger, you'll be able to see individual battery levels when it's in the charger. Another small change to note would be actually the construction of the battery. So previously the battery was split into two halves down the middle. And if there will be any kind of swelling or any issues, the battery would actually split into half and open up like a banana. Whereas with the new one, it's still quite contained inside, so it won't jam in the bay so easily. So if you have any questions uh, or inquiries, uh, you can drop a comment below or email us. And as always, thank you and fly safe.